Hello there and welcome to Local Fleet. It's my channel where we talk all things Leeds United and today I'm just having a look at that really terrible performance, that 2-1 defeat at Ellen Road to West Ham United. I mean, yeah, I mean I'll just get straight into it. Rubbish, just rubbish, that's all I can, you know, that's what I will say to start off with. I mean that is the only word I can use for it. In fact, I'll go awful, I'll go even worse, I think it was awful. Obviously, this is straight after the game and you, I haven't looked at any of the tables or anything like that, but yeah, I think it's one win in six now for us. It's one win at Ellen Road all season. That was obviously early season. I think the second game of the season, wasn't it? We beat Fulham 4-3 at Ellen Road. That was the, the one and only win at Ellen Road. But this one tonight was a game that I felt that we could win. Um, you know, and that we, we 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 had a chance to win again. It's very similar to the Chelsea game where we go one 0 up very early on, and we, they come back. We had and obviously win it in the end. We had absolutely nothing other than that penalty. Really, I can think of that Phillips uh, shot that Fabianski saved. Other than that, that was probably it in the whole ninety minutes. It was far too slow. It was far too lethargic. It just wasn't good enough, you know. And when we go one nil up that early on, why don't you press? Why don't you press West Ham? You know, we one nil up. You know, our best way of attacking, sorry, protecting uh, a lead is by attacking. Why? Why do you let them come on to you like they did? For me, West Ham far and away the better team, and and by far deserve winners. Should have been more. And once again, Melier comes to our rescue with two or three. You know, outstanding saves. Obviously, the post um, helped us out as well, didn't it? I think on one occasion. Um, so, yeah, look, we were terrible all the way through the team. The only players that I think come out with any sort of credit uh, for me was Ayling and, and Shackleton. Uh, Shackleton looked bright when he came on. Ayling uh, looked for me to be getting, even though he was in centre-back, look to be getting forward and looking like he, he wanted to actually start the attacks. Other than that, just pathetic and, and, and pretty just abject and rubbish. It was rubbish. You know, Harrison, awful, came off at half time. He has been for a few weeks now, but he was replaced by Costa, who was possibly even worse uh, than Harrison. I felt like Costa just, what is he, what is he even doing in that game? Just wandering around the pitch there was one point where I think he was free out on the right hand side he's just putting his hand up like oh yeah if you see me fair fair enough if you don't then it, I don't really care you know what I mean he just looked like he couldn't be asked. Um, and to me a lot of them looked like they couldn't be asked tonight uh, click I thought was awful uh, scored the early penalty yeah but after that awful uh, Phillips I thought was well marshalled out the game by Ben Rama to be fair who Ben Rama I thought he had a very good game he was effective I didn't think Bowen was as effective uh, in fact in fact, I actually forgot he was playing in the first half but he seemed to come into it in the second half for me West Ham were far and away like I say the better side um, Halla could have had maybe two or three goals and for me he, he was the, probably the worst player for me for them um, should have scored probably one or two maybe like I say even three but from our point of view like I say it's worrying for me it's worrying I mean gone of you know for me it's gone this kind of novelty of the Premier League we're in the Premier League now and that performance just wasn't good enough um, we need to be getting points on the board this was a game where I felt like I say that we could have got some points we didn't um you know, and it's it's on to Newcastle, and we need a win. It's as simple as that. Nothing else for me uh, will do. We have to win this game on Wednesday night against Newcastle. We just have to. It's uh, it's one of them now that if we don't win, we start to look um, beneath us at the teams, and I think we're lucky really because a few of the teams below us do look poor. Uh, but tonight that was just awful. It was hard to watch. We could be playing into the middle of next week. And we wouldn't have scored. Um, Bamford, the service to him was pretty much non-existent. You know, Rodrigo and Rafina, who, like a lot of fans, I was quite excited to see them play together, um, you know, and start. 
together, but they were rubbish. Rafina final ball was terrible. Tried to get on the ball in the first half, but second half he just drifted in and out of the game. Didn't have a much of a positive effect on it at all. Rodrigo was it you know was it Rodrigo even playing? I you know he was rubbish as well. He was just rubbish, and that's yeah. I, I forgot he was even playing. I don't know why he brought Roberts on. I mean we were looking for a goal. Uh, I think it was one one at that point actually, but we were still looking for a goal to win the game or you know, and then we fall behind and he brings Roberts on and puts him up top. We've got the Spanish, you know, Spanish international playing behind him. For me, Roberts is is terrible. He's rubbish, um, you know, and not a player that you look to for for a goal, is he really? I know he's an attacking player, but he's not good enough. He's not Premier League quality. And, and neither are a lot of our team, to be fair. Um, after that result. I know we're still learning and that's fair enough, um, but generally we need to be grinding at least a point out of that, getting a point out of that and and moving on. But set pieces, I mean, we come on to their goals. I mean, what on earth are they doing? That corner kick, we all know our frailties from corners. It was seen again in that, in that, in that corner. What are they doing? They lose... Uh, Sue checking it and he's got a header gets above his man obviously Melier played well but for me that one it, he should be saving that I don't know what he's doing um, he's, he's obviously coming from the other way but he should be able to get a good hand on that uh, you know Rafina can't keep it out it goes 1-1 and then the, the, the winner you know 10 minutes from time the 80th minute I mean it's a Cooper for me, he needs to get out of the team. I, I don't care that we've got these injuries. Find somebody else in there for me. He's rubbish. He, I know I said that a lot about a lot of the players in this in this one, but yeah, he is rubbish. He's not good enough for the Premier League. You know, he loses his man, and Ogbonna, is, again, it's, it's similar to last week with Zuma. Ogbonna's a good header of the ball. He's... he's, he's it's um, food and drink that kind of situation for him and if he's a free man free, he, he, he'll attack that ball as he did and it was a good header obviously but it's not hard to, to, to really get it in there from you, you know you're there Cooper's lost him it's a free header you know 12 yards out whatever it was he's, he's not really going to miss those and I feel a bit sorry for Melier because he kept us in that game at 1-1 one, one, even when we went 2-1 down those last 10 minutes they had chances had a, had a bicycle kick great save from Melier before at, at one each he, he saved well from that free kick didn't he a good header again I think it was um, Balbuena wasn't it but yeah look we were poor defensively but all round we were poor tonight you know we were just rubbish you know there was no direction to that play at all and for me Bielsa with his substitutions needs to really look at the formation he's just changing them like for like and for me it feels like that kind of time you know football manager I'm, not, I'm sure we've all played it where you kind of feel like, yeah well probably going to lose this game I'll just throw on players who are like for like not really bother changing the formation and for me he has to look a little bit at the formation those substitutions weren't good enough I thought on a little positive note, Shackleton looked looked very bright when he came on. Um, you know, Alioski was poor for me, first half. They were all rubbish for me tonight. Not good enough. And if we play like that, we're going to be in a relegation battle. Uh, I do think we're good enough to stay up. Uh, there are worse teams in the Premier League. It's probably not panic stations just yet. But we've played 12 games. We've got 14 points. We've... You know, we're we're on a bit of a downward spiral. I know we beat Everton, but other than that, the, the the results haven't been good enough, and we need to turn it around. You know, we need to turn it around. But tonight, yeah, rubbish. Let me know in your in, you know your thoughts in the comments, of course. And if you like this video, remember to subscribe to the channel and uh, smash a like on the on this video as well. But we've got to improve, Leeds fans. Out, we've got to improve. Um, but yeah, but as always, win, lose or draw, we march on together and I will see you on the next one.